Okay, Shane. I'm here. Sorry, darling. I got a little distracted. Get out your phone. You'll see. The cop I paid off finally got me access to their cameras. This here's a live video feed. So? It's a bunch of cops. Yeah. And they're protecting the chief of police. A man I am very eager to meet. Sadly, not with that kind of entourage present. I'm not gonna kill all those dudes just so you can have a sit down. I'll distract them. Stop making a ruckus so they'll have to peel off and investigate. For whatever works, sugar. Now, if this meeting goes the way I see it, I'll be running Seattle for years to come. Meaning you and your brother can go. One ruckus coming up. <laughs> my brother been keeping him in a building not three blocks from here he's your problem now and that's it well, you heard the chief you leave town and I'm a made man smiles all around
Brent? I'm sorry, honey, but the DUP's getting awful close. And now that I got the chief of police in my pocket, you're just a cute little liability. <laughs> Boys and girls, you pussy. Well, can you blame me? It's not like shooting you to death has worked out for anyone. <laughs> when I get out of here. I know, darling. That's why I gotta make sure you don't. You understand? <laughs> Whenever I'd start to freak out, I'd focus on Brent. He was the only thing that'd calm me down. I clung to a good memory. Brent knew that if we didn't leave town, I was never gonna get clean. He started taking risks to make money. Wanted to buy a boat and sneak into Canada. I told him it sounded crazy. But when he came home missing a few teeth, I shaped up. I tried going cold turkey. He stayed by me through all this shit. I owe him. He's my brother. I love him. Nothing was gonna stop me. 